गुड मॉर्निंग राजू जी गुड मॉर्निंग उषा गुड मॉर्निंग विभूति अनिमेश लीना सुजाता मॉर्निंग हाउ यू डूइंग ओके गुड मॉर्निंग सुजाता निशांत गुड टू सी यू ऑल हियर रियली अप्रिशिएट द टाइम दैट यू टेक टू जॉइन दीज सेशंस आई Uh, we are really grateful to have you on uh, on this uh, platform itself and uh, uh, spend another hour together in this uh, virtual world on uh, get set up uh, you know and uh, it's uh, really very very encouraging uh, you know to meet family members uh, throughout the day on this excellent platform of get set up uh, which is for the elders by the elders and uh, what we will be doing today is uh, we will be uh, uh, we will be exploring uh, the zoom functions okay uh, zoom as uh, you know uh, as uh, the first session uh, that i take on zoom uh, it covered opening up a zoom account and uh, joining meetings itself and uh, now uh, what we would be doing today is uh, you know going into uh, the second bit of details of uh, hosting meetings you know uh, as to how you can host meetings and the first level of hosting okay uh, okay uh, i sure thanks thanks anyway for letting me know and uh, at the same time uh, one of the things uh, uh, you know that uh, as, as a host you can do a lot of things there uh what i will be sharing is you know today in this uh, session is uh, the first level of posting okay as to what all you can do at the first level of posting zoom meetings and then in the third uh, you know uh, session that i take i go into advanced level of posting zoom meetings itself okay so that's why we divided it into uh, three parts Uh, now here uh, of course today like i said uh, we would be exploring as to uh, how to host meetings uh, of course no point in asking as to how many of us are using zoom because we are on this platform so wo to bekar ka sawal hoga matlab ek seedhi si baat hai so uh, let's get uh, straight to the point uh, number one if you have to host a meeting okay uh what you need to do is uh, morning vasanta really a very warm welcome to the platform uh if we need to host a meeting the first thing we need to have is an account we need to open up a zoom account that is the basic uh, without a zoom account you cannot uh, you know uh, uh host a meeting so uh, to begin with that is the uh, basic criteria of course you need uh, you know a, a device Uh, be it uh, uh, be it a mobile or uh, be it uh, a computer it's best if you're hosting a meeting please use a computer because there are many functions a couple of advanced functions which you cannot do from an uh, from a device itself so i would say use a computer and uh, you know uh, in the second in the uh, in the next stage uh, you know uh, of course uh, be prepared if you have multiple display screens that you should be able to use multiple display screens as well as multiple cameras that i take take in the second session but just to give you an idea as to what all you can do in hosting meetings itself okay and uh, uh, the uh, the other thing is of course uh, uh, one of the things that uh, we should all do is uh, visit the zoom.us website i give links of to that website uh, in uh, all my link in all the sessions that i take uh, on zoom and especially the functions which we can uh, you know uh, which we uh, which we have explored during the day itself okay so uh without much delay uh of course uh, today it will mostly be uh, since uh, we are on zoom itself this is going to be you know i will be presenting uh, you know i will be doing a presentation and then some portion of the session is going to be live so that you get uh, you get an idea as to what uh, we are talking about and you would 
all actively participate in that. Uh, participation is requested. Uh, before that, I will let you know what needs to be done and how you can do it. Okay, so uh, one of the, uh, allow me to uh, uh, share my screen. And uh, uh, here goes uh, the first slide itself. Uh, okay, uh, this is, uh, uh, let me hide the ribbon. I hope my screen is clear to all. Uh, any challenges in that? Uh, morning, Sheila Ji. Morning, Vasanta. Uh, I hope my, my, my screen is clear to all. Uh, and if not, uh, you can unmute yourself and uh, let me know. Uh, thanks, Animesh. Thanks for the message. Uh, now, uh, from here we start, uh, you know, this is the first step to hosting Zoom meetings. That is what we will be covering today. Now, uh, you know, and uh, of course, uh, a few things, you know, about uh, this great platform that we are on. Uh, we are, uh, uh, you know, uh, the company as such is a mission-driven education technology company. Okay, We deal a lot in uh, with, with technology, you know, uh, we are uh, educating. That's why, we, you know, we are all uh, uh, making best use of it in the virtual world. And at the same time, we are educators in a training organization. Our mission is to create economic opportunity. I mean, it could be that, you know, you uh, you could demonetize the skills or, at the, or otherwise, you know, adopt healthy, uh, you know, uh, uh, it, it could lead to leading a healthy life itself. Now, uh, and of course, if you know anybody else, uh, you know, whether it's in your family or whether it is, uh, you know, friends or uh, whom you meet who could benefit, please refer uh, to them. Uh, moving ahead, you know, uh, before uh, we start, the best way to participate is to register, you know, register from our website because then you get the notes, all the notes will be sent to you. Otherwise, you know, uh, the notes are not sent. And uh, plus, if you wish to uh, request for a recording, you know, post attending 75% of the session, you will not, you know, be able to get that. And uh, of course, the recording Excuse can me, be... Uh, uh, sorry. sorry to interrupt. Uh, I think uh, this help self, uh, help at the end get set up. It should be IO, <laughs> not I. You can send it to IN also. You can send it to IO also, Lena. Uh, they uh, they can't they uh, go up there itself. Because last time we were told to send on this uh, IO, not IN. Okay, no problem. I will uh, make it IO. That is uh, never a challenge. There goes O. Thank you for pointing that out. Thank really you. appreciate. Uh, your, uh, you know, your keen interest in the session and uh, contribution also. Really appreciate that. Okay. And at the same time, uh, you know, we are not paid. I mean, we are not paid endorsers, as you know, they call, we call. Reference to a product is from the point of view of demonstration itself. And of course, when you're not speaking, uh, please unmute, uh, please mute yourself. Of course, you have the option to unmute yourself, just like uh, Lena did just now. Uh, but you know what happens? Uh, background sounds disturb the uh, the sessions, so please uh, keep your mics on mute when not speaking. And uh, again, uh, today's agenda. Uh, if you see. Uh, <laughs> Animesh, uh, thank you for uh, the lovely remark. Really appreciate that. Uh, now, you know, it is uh, the agenda. Of course, uh, we will be learning more about hosting a Zoom meeting, functions and rights of the host. Uh, functions, these are not going to be explained stepwise, but it's a cumulative thing. So whenever I am onto any, any particular activity or any particular control, I will explain to you what are the rights of the host itself. And the main agenda today is creating meeting rooms. Okay. Now, this is again the portion which uh, we will be doing. Uh, morning, Benaji. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, now, uh, you know, creating meeting rooms is something uh, which we will be doing live. And that is where all the participants would be required to participate in that. You know, uh, all the family members. It makes, uh, you know, things, uh, you get the first hand feel of the way. And of course, you know, a lot attendees to meeting rooms and view meeting rooms also, okay? Now, these are some of the things that you'll be learning today. Uh, you know, we'll be sharing experiences on. And uh, if you learn something new out of it, great. If not, join us for the repeat session. I just hope you learn something new. Otherwise, you know, things are uh, 
going to be bad for me. Okay. Uh, a few quick questions. How have, have you all created a Zoom account? Number one, can you unmute yourselves and, or you can uh, put it in the chat box as uh, you feel. Ah, oh, Vibhuti ji has a Zoom account. Great. Thank you, Vibhuti ji, for uh, letting me know that. Uh, really appreciate uh, uh, the, the deafness there. Okay. Uh, I have something in the chat also. Uh, yes, Usha ji says that she has a Zoom account. My friend Animesh, I know he has a Zoom account. Okay. Uh, so good to know that, uh, you know, uh, we have a Zoom account. Leila also says that she has a Zoom account. Great. Uh, so uh, what we did in the in the in the basic session, uh, Rita uh, Sheila ji also says she has a Zoom account. Great. Uh, Usha uh, Vasantha also says good to know that. Uh, good to know that uh, we are all uh, using Zoom uh, and you know we have an account. Uh, the first uh, session, the basic session, was on uh, creating a, a, a Zoom account itself and you know exploring the functions of uh, paid and uh, unpaid. Uh, you know, uh, sorry, uh, free as well as subscribed uh, platforms because in the you get certain functions in the free section and. Uh, some of the functions are available only when you go into the paid version. So that is what we had explored there. And of course, uh, you know, attending a meeting, uh, like most of us, you know, all the family members are attending a meeting from either a phone or from a tablet or a computer, how to attend that itself. Uh, Sumita ji also says, yes, good, good. So uh, that eases a lot of challenge in the sense that if you have a Zoom account, nothing to beat that. If you don't have a Zoom account, go on to the website www.zoom.us and create your account. It is free. Okay, uh, You can create a free account and then post when you start posting meetings uh, of a large scale or you need functions for the paid, uh, you know, uh, functions which are there on the paid, uh, you know, uh, module, you can, you know, uh, literally opt for that. Uh, opening up an account doesn't cost anything and they don't ask you for any credit cards or debit cards or, uh, you know, that they will refund the money or anything of that sort. That happens only when you uh, kind of move into the, uh, the paid version. Okay. So uh, here we go, right? Now, uh, this is a presentation uh, and you'll be seeing my face, uh, ugly face there on the screen all the time, okay? Because these are slides uh, and I will not be moving, okay? These are slides. Now, the reason for, uh, you know, showing this screen itself is uh, that please concentrate on the lower section of the screen, okay? The lower section means uh, the taskbar of Zoom is there. And uh, when you when you attend when you check the lower area of the taskbar, all the controls. This is from a computer, so all the controls are there in at the lower end. Of course, you might not find you know all the uh, all these controls in your screen itself because uh, there are uh, there are you know certain things which we as a host which i as a host control and uh, <laughs> okay uh, thanks uh, arivesh uh, so uh, what we do is uh, we uh, you know we control certain things like for example uh, you know uh, from uh, amongst the lower options you might not find the record option there you might not find the share screen option there. But just remember when you're hosting a meeting, you will find all these controls there on when you are hosting a meeting, or you will have to enable these controls from the settings itself. So uh, the first, you know, on the extreme left side in the black area, okay, the, the lowermost black area that you see is the mic. If the mute is the mic. We control the mic from here. Uh, when we say control, you know, if there is a strike through, you know, like the one that is there on the video, the, the next uh, uh, icon, if the strike through is there, that means your mic is not on. Okay. And uh, like right now, most of the family members would be seeing a strike through on their mic itself, you know, like the red, it, and it changes to, uh, you know, uh, the, it's a red strike through. 
So the mic is, you know, what we control uh, from here itself. And there is an option, the arrow upwards. Okay. The, from the arrow upwards, uh, what you can do is uh, literally when you, when you tap on that arrow itself, you can control the sound features, you know, the inbuilt structure, or if you're, uh, if you're using external sound systems, you can control that also. The next is the video option. Okay, the, the video mic, it's uh, the video which seems like, uh, you know, the video. Yeah, here, now you see from the audio, uh, you know, uh, what you can do is, you like I said, you can test your speakers and microphone. And at the same time, you can check your audio settings. If you are using multiple, you know, mics or multiple, uh, you know, speakers, uh, you can check all those settings from here itself. The next, you know, is the video, is the video option. Now, in the video option, there are two things. One is, you know, even in the audio, there are two, two functions. One is for joining, and the second arrow upwards is for the settings and checking things. Here, in this, even in the video, the strike through, you know, when I tap on that, uh, you know, the video starts. Other than that, there is, you know, this upwards arrow key. When I hit the upwards arrow key, I can select the cameras. If I'm using multiple cameras, I can select which camera I will use. Uh, I will uh, be doing a live demo of this in the third session. And because uh, basic, at least you should know how to operate the camera from the system itself. And then, you know, move on to the multiple cameras itself. The second thing is that you can do from here is choose a virtual background. Okay. Now, uh, for a virtual background, I get uh, quite a number of questions that, you know, it is not it is not happening in my system. For a virtual background to be applied, there are certain specifications of the device itself. Like, for example, just to give you, I'm not going into, you know, the processors and the memory and all that, just a broad classification. The first thing is that... Uh, in Windows 7, if you have a computer or a laptop of Windows 7, you will not be able to use backgrounds. It, it takes up, you know, uh, from Windows 10 onwards. Okay. Uh, but, uh, you know, the machine specifications, it is controlled by machine specifications also. And, of course, you could choose video filters. Uh, you know, uh, video filters literally means, you know, putting on that cap or, uh, you know, uh, making a dadi bana liya, eyebrow laga liya, wo sab aap isse kar sakte hain, yahan se. From the, you know, from the host control meetings itself. Of course, these are permitted in, uh, you know, uh, abhi aap log sabko, maine ye block nahi kiya hai. If you want to try it out, you can try a virtual background if your system permits. Uh, you can try that out and I will come to know that, you know, you have tried a virtual background itself if you're on a system. And the same thing goes for Android devices. Certain high level Android devices or higher level Android devices, you would be able to change the background there. Otherwise, it will not change and you will not get this option there. Okay. Uh, now, going on, on to the third option. Okay. The security that you're seeing on this on my screen, the shield at the bottom, you know, which is security. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, this uh, the the the, the pop-up is for the participants list. Okay, uh, sorry, sorry for that, uh, Mr. It is for the participants list. Now, starting right from top is lock meeting. Lock meeting means that you know if you have if you're hosting a meeting with say uh, ten people and 10 have come in uh, and somehow you get to know or uh, probably by mistake some of the participants have uh, kind of uh, shared the link with others what you do is after those 10 people have come in you use the lock meeting then nobody can enter even with the link that you that has been shared with them okay. that's one number two is enable waiting room now, waiting room is something which you should, uh, you all would have experienced, uh, especially with a late man like me. I never start my sessions on time. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm always late by a couple of minutes. So this is the same concept as is there in the railways. Okay. 
that, you know, if you have reached before the time that the train has come, what you can do is you can sit in the waiting room and wait for the train to come and then you are allowed, then you board the train. The same thing here. As a host, if you do not want that the participants gather before you have started the meeting, uh, what you do is you enable the waiting room. Then, although the people with the link would have logged in, but they cannot join the meeting or connect with each other on the meeting because the waiting room has been, uh, you know, it is still, uh, they are placed in a waiting room itself. Okay. And if you disable it, you know, as soon as I join, I do my settings and all. And uh, when I, you know, uh, when I'm good, I disable it. And, uh, you know, people join in. They, when you are a host and when you have, uh, you, when you see if there are participants who have come in before, okay, you can see their names as to who has come in. And uh, it shows you that, you know, uh, 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 like uh, Vibhuti ji uh, is in the waiting room admit and you tap on the admit button and then they come in or otherwise you know just disable the waiting room and everybody comes in there number two you know hide the profile pictures hide profile pictures in the sense that what you're seeing on the screen right now my image you know is is a profile picture if i don't want to see the profile picture if i don't want to you know uh, go into searching that mode because uh, uh, there are some speakers who feel that it is a distraction. So what you can do is you can hide the profile pictures. Then, you know, the profile pictures would not be visible. And the second is, again, participants too. This is what you're allowing participants uh, to, number one, share screen, uh, which I do allow sometimes when I am also sharing screen from my Android device. That's why, uh, you know, uh, in some of my meetings, you will find that option is okay. You know, it is there. But please do not attempt to share screen because what happens is then it, uh, you know, it disturbs the meeting. So uh, again, uh, and at the same time, as a host, what it allows you to do is, now this is a virtual world. Say, supposing I am uh, presenting something, uh, you know, and uh, 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 Vasanta is my co-presenter. So what we do is we allow, you know, screen, uh, share screen and uh, say after the first 10 slides, Vasanta has to give a sermon for uh, next 20 minutes. Then she takes over, she does all the, you know, and the slide sharing and so on and so forth and starts speaking. So that is what share screen literally means. And that is how a host uses that. The second is the chat function. As a host, you control the chat function. Okay. Uh, in there would be certain meetings that you might have attended where you know there is the chat facility is not available, not available in the sense that uh, uh, they do not allow, like for example, if it's a sermon, if it's a lecture, they do not allow chat facilities or they do not want to take any questions uh, till the end of the session. So, what they do is they stop chat facility, and even in the chats facility, there is an option uh, within that also that the participants, can they chat amongst themselves or can they chat only with the host? Okay, so you control all these. And it's not that, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the participants control it. So that is one, you know, that is the going into details into the chat function. Third is rename themselves rename themselves in the sense that you know uh, there are times that uh, uh, you know the uh, it's just the device name that appears on the screen uh, or probably you have logged in from uh, you know uh, another uh, another device it is not your device so or from another zoom account uh, with using a meeting id itself now in that case the uh, if it's another zoom account there is a possibility that you're exact name may not come on the screen. So what happens in that case, you can rename yourself. The host gives you that permission to rename yourself. Okay. The third one, uh, you know, post that is unmute themselves. Like in all the meetings that we conduct, or rather I conduct at the beginning of the meeting, we mute everybody. 
But at the same time, we have given, since these are interactive sessions, uh, we, give the, uh, we give the rights to the participant to you know, unmute themselves and speak. So this is again, a host can control this, okay? If you are giving a lecture and you do not wish to be disturbed and there is a question and answer, uh, you know, time period at the end of, say, for example, uh, it's an hour long session and uh, you are conducting a 45 minutes, you know, uh, speech or audiovisual uh, presentation. Uh, post 45, till 45 minutes, you do not give this permission to unmute themselves. So once you mute them, nobody will be able to speak. Your session goes on very smoothly. And at the end of the session, when you have to take those question answers, you enable them to unmute themselves and speak. Okay. So, and, you know, the last option is start video. Okay. Uh, in the sense that, uh, uh, you know, uh, they can start their videos on their phone itself. Uh, the video camera as such. Okay. And the last option, suspend participant activities. This is, uh, I just hope, uh, you know, as a host, you never get to use this. Uh, this is what we call a, a, you know, a veto power. A veto power in the sense that uh, you just cannot, uh, you know, uh, what happens is uh, sometimes, you know, very rarely, uh, meetings go out of control. Out of control in the sense that uh, they are, uh, uh, they kind of, you know, participants are either fighting or not listening to each other or speaking at the same time and so on and so forth. And uh, the host feels that situation is getting out of control. So what he does is he suspends all participants' activities. In the sense, you cannot unmute yourself, you cannot speak, you cannot start the video and just give it a cooling period. Okay. Uh, a cooling period, as we call it, uh, and uh, post that, you know, when people realize that, you know, the meeting is going to end, uh, then what they do is they get back to, you know, uh, literally uh, to the table itself. Okay. Uh, there's a question in the chat. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Uh, political discussions on news channels. Uh, that's why we don't get into you know, hosting such programs, because I'm very sure if we get into that mode, uh, all the, uh, you know, uh, uh, all the uh, family members would have some view or the other contradicting each other. And then, you know, uh, come on. I just hope that this, uh, this would be used in the news channels itself, you know, but they don't. Okay. So this is what you get, uh, you know, in the participants control. Now, moving ahead uh, to the next control that you have, is uh, again in the participants when you tap on you know the uh, the heads there okay uh, well uh, if you lock the meeting uh, no uh, if you lock the meeting then nobody can join back okay uh, then it's the end uh, he's gone uh, he, meeting locked means you can only go out you cannot come in on a stream okay uh, so uh, the now in the participants, you know, when you tap on the participants, you know, these uh, these uh, the, the heads, as, as you see. Now, this again was divided into two. But the arrow upwards was all the functions that I described. The participants list, you know, if you tap on, you know, the second section, you will see a list of all the participants that are there. Okay. And like, for example, those who are on the computer would be seeing that, you know, you tap on that. Alina is trying virtual backgrounds. Good to know that, Lena, you're trying something. Good, good. Okay. Uh, now, you know, uh, when, you, uh, when you click on the participants, uh, this thing, uh, you get a list of all the participants, number one. And for those who are, who have, uh, you know, uh, who, have, uh, who are checking the participants list, they would see my name as a host. Okay. Against my name would be written host. Okay. And followed by right now i do not have a co-host here okay in the sense uh, the ta is not here otherwise you would see her name and uh, or rather the individual's name and a co-host there what you can do from the participants list is number one you can check all the participants that are there in the in the meeting and in most cases it is uh, the list appears alphabetically except for the host and co-host they appear right on top and, you know, you can uh, literally, uh, you can check, uh, you can see it becomes alphabetically. 
And at the same time, if it's a long list, what you can do is you can search. There is a search option there. You can search for the participants. If it's a big meeting and you know you, you wish to uh, kind of check, then you can do that from the participants, uh, you know, uh, from that section itself. Next, you know, uh, again, in the, uh, somebody is annotating, please, if you could stop, uh, I will get the name. <laughs> you know, I'm the host, I will know everything that is happening here. Okay, uh, never mind. Uh, that's, a, uh, that's a cool thing to do. Just try that. And this is something which uh, uh, we will be trying out in the, uh, you know, in the third uh, 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 session itself. Okay. And uh, uh, now, you know, uh, uh, what we, uh, yeah, uh, coming back to participants, uh, and from the participants itself, if you check on that list, uh, you can see, you can also see whose video is on. You can also see whose audio is on because the same controls come up there. Like, for example, here in this case, if you, in the, on the screen, you'll see my video is off. That's why my profile picture is there. And at the same time, you know, all the functions of the participants, which is here at the tab, at the bottom tab, you will get those same functions in, the, in this section also of participants. At the end, there are three dots that are there. You tap on those three dots and you will get all these functions that are there, okay? Now, the other thing that you can do as a host from here, you know, why as a host is, uh, when you, uh, you know, uh, when you, uh, okay, this is the chat, when you, uh, that slide is not here, uh, you know, uh, when there is a participant, if you hover, uh, like as a host, if I want to make Vibhuti ji the host, the, my co-host, I can make it from my, uh, from the participants list itself, and he will get the rights as a co-host, in the sense that uh, whatever functions are there with me, all those functions will be transferred to him also. But just remember, as a host and as a co-host, uh, there are a few things that you cannot do. Number one, if there is any kind of voting that is taking place, both the host and co-host cannot vote. Okay. And number two, uh, Uh, yes, uh, what you do is if you, uh, one of the first thing is uh, 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 for a couple of times, uh, uh, for a couple of times, what you can do is, uh, you know, uh, uh, Animesh is uh, either, uh, not couple, just uh, try and search his name uh, from there. Uh, and uh, what we normally do is, uh, uh, you know, uh, at the participants controls, uh, we put him in the, uh, in the, uh, in the waiting room. Okay, shift to waiting room and uh, then lock the meeting. Uh, he cannot re enter. Okay, I mean, that is one of the harshest punishments you can do. Give, uh, of course, the harshest being remove him from the meeting itself. Uh, you can do that also. Okay, and uh, okay, uh, how a co host is assigned? Uh, well, uh, where you are seeing, you know, uh, my name there as host. Okay, uh, if there are many participants, I mean, if you had the host rights, now I have not given those host rights to anybody. So if you're a host, when you hover over, you know, the, uh, the names of other, uh, what we call it, uh, participants, uh, what you would be able to do is, as a host, you can, from as a host, you could rename them, you could make them the co-host, you can make them the host itself. You, when you over the uh, your uh, cursor over the uh, participant's name whom you wish to make as a host, uh, it will give you options. One is more. You tap on that more, and a whole drop down comes down. Okay, uh, I will try and you know do that uh, when I go live, and I will show that to you. Uh, although Zoom does not allow self, you know, uh, screen sharing. Uh, we'll, we can try. However, we can still try. Uh, or I will log in from my Android and, uh, you know, show you uh, the, the option. And uh, now this, you know, all these options, they're also there, like I was saying, in the three dots that you see in the participants control. The next is, uh, you know, the, uh, the chat function. Okay. Now, 
from the chat function in the chat function what you get is uh, when you tap on chat you get this window and again in the three dots that are there you know participants can chat with now this is our standard regulation i mean we since these are interactive sessions uh, we allow everyone to chat publicly and directly in the sense that if sheila ji wants wants to send a message to rita she can send it without any one of us knowing that okay that's when it means that uh, you know everyone publicly and directly now how do you select with whom yes rita you've raised your hand uh, yes i wanted to know how to make a co-host okay let me go live and i will uh, go on that are you on your system are you on your system uh, yes okay let me go live and then i will show you how to make you uh, how, how to do that okay. okay then you know uh one of the uh, uh then you know uh, from here itself uh, we control the chat sessions right as to what to enable and what not to enable and at the same time we can merge it to meeting window merge it to the meeting window in the sense like where you are seeing currently you know this participants i can merge the chat section also onto and in the bottom portion which you will see in the second slide how, how to select a person with whom i want to chat you were telling that to stop uh, okay sorry about that sorry about that now uh, this uh, the, the screen before if you are seeing two right where you are seeing two and uh, everyone just it's a drop down just tap on that arrow and when you tap on that arrow you will get a list of all the participants that are there and from that you select with whom you want to chat okay when you select that instead of two it's where it's written everyone the name of that participant will come up and then you know you type your message and send it across that's how you select you know with whom you want to chat in private thank and, you and uh, welcome to you. the second thing that you can do in chat is send files okay uh, in the sense that uh, if you wish to uh, send uh, any notes or anything during a meeting you can do that you know uh, specifically now there is a difference sharing screen the other person is seeing what is there on the screen but sending a note to him he can always download it and keep it uh, you know for uh, records itself so you can do that also during the chat session uh, the next what i was uh, saying was merge now if you see the the white portion on the right hand side uh, you know the white portion you see above is participants and at, at the end you know in the second half is the chat so if you are really into you know if you are alone and if you are uh, hosting a meeting and you need to multitask uh, this is uh, this is a good uh, thing just set the window like this then you know every time you don't need to go into uh, you know click the participants and see what's happening or click the chat and see what is happening there the uh, and of course you can uh, you know uh, make these windows exclusive also you know exclusive in the sense away from the main screen and uh, you know bigger uh the now this was sorry this this place should have come in before now for the files you know if you want to send a file you can attach it you know uh, like i have all these options you know uh, a dropbox a one drive a google drive uh, you know microsoft sharepoint or add files from your system itself and uh, this would now these dropbox xyz that uh, second window that is coming that would depend on the apps that you have on your screen itself okay uh next you know uh, is again share screen uh, whether you want uh, you know a single person sharing or you want multiple uh, so uh, this is this again a host has the right to decide as to whether to allow single or multiple screen sharing okay and uh, at the same time from the arrow you know that is moving upwards you know this uh, side arrow not the green area the side arrow you get the advanced sharing options in the advanced sharing options it says that you know one participant can share at a time or 
multiple participants can share simultaneously. Yes, when you go into the second option, you need dual monitors. And uh, uh, for most of my meetings on this session, or for most of my sessions here, I use dual monitors. That's why I come to know as to who is doing what. Okay. Uh, it's always advised as a host, learn to use dual monitors. Uh, then, you know, uh, you have a better control over the meeting itself. Okay. Now, who can share? It is only host or all participants. It's again, up, uh, you know, your, uh, your wish. And uh, this is what happens. Uh, like, for example, this is a control, you know, that the host has. For example, I wish to make, uh, again, uh, Vasanthaji as my co-presenter. And, uh, you know, I also know that, you know, since I will allow multiple screen sharing, uh, everybody would try to, you know, uh, butt into that meeting and uh, present uh, whatever they want. From here itself, I control how many participants can share, one participant. Either I am sharing or Vasanthaji is sharing. Second, who can share? I just make her the host. For the duration that she has to present, I just make her the host. Okay. And uh, she starts, you know, uh, she starts sharing. Then nobody else will be able to jump into the share screen option. Okay. And who can share, you know, when someone else is sharing? Only host. So I control all the options for, you know, I control all the options. And, uh, you know, being the host, I control all the options there. So uh, this is, again, a very important uh, thing that we need to, you know, uh, go on to. Uh, we need, we should be knowing. Uh, the second uh, post that is, you know, the central button uh, here. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Uh, there is a question in the chat. Uh, yes, du yes, dual monitors, uh, Binaji. I uh, I mean dual monitors. Uh, so uh, the uh, the second thing, you know, uh, the second button post. Dual Anji. monitor means you have two different monitors, or you have two different pictures in the same money on the same monitor. No, uh, I, it means two different monitors connected to one computer. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Uh, does co-host also have all the rights for share screen that host has? Yes, uh, they have. Uh, if you give them, uh, if you give them the uh, the co-host rights, they have all the rights except for. Uh, except for, uh, you know, uh, uh, voting in polls, or if there is a voting, uh, neither the host nor the co-host is allowed to cast a vote. Okay. Uh, and uh, 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 that's why, Nasreen, uh, when you see our sessions, when the TAs are there, we make them the co-host. And when we make them the co-host, uh, initially they start the, you know, uh, a couple of days back, they would start with the, uh, with the uh, presentation. And, uh, you know, a post that uh, we took over as, uh, you know, as the hosts. Now, the next one, post that, you know, from here, if you're looking at the tab, it's the record button. Okay. Now, you, you might not see that on your screens uh, because uh, uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, uh, we do not allow screen recording itself. Uh, now, when you, when you click on the record button, button, the recording starts and you can make out if you're seeing, if you see the right hand side, top right hand side of the black area on the share screen, you'll see recording and you'll see, you know, a red, uh, you know, a gray circle with a red uh, dot there and uh, the pause and uh, the stop button. Okay. That means recording is going on. You know, as a host, that's how you know that the recording is going on. You can stop, pause or stop the recording from here itself. Next. Uh, post that is the breakout rooms. Okay. You can, uh, sorry about that. Uh, okay. Uh, before going into, yeah. Uh, another thing, you know, from here, uh, where the recording button, button is, you see this green shield there. You know, the first thing is the green shield. If you wish to invite people while you have started the meeting, what you need to do is you can tap here on that green shield itself. And when you tap on that green shield, what you get is the meeting details. 
Okay. And uh, like, for example, the meeting ID is this. I am the host. And this is the past passport and the numeric codes, the link for inviting through Zoom. And, uh, you know, you can send these details to the participants uh, from the participant panel itself using this invite button. When you click on the invite button, you will get all the options of uh, either by sending by mail, uh, you, uh, by sending by, uh, by mail itself. And uh, you can paste the links there and send it off. Okay. Uh, so the meeting details, if you have to access, you know, if somebody says that, you know, uh, you, or, uh, you forgot to send an invite to somebody uh, and uh, you need so, to send it. Can, uh, yes, Rajiv, can you show us the invite button? Which one you the mean by the invite? If you're seeing the participants, uh, you know, section, the white section of my screen, yeah. at the right, uh, you know, just uh, below... Uh, typically below my uh, profile picture, right towards the base, the invite is yeah. there. You would be seeing it very small, you know, uh, that yeah. invite is there. You can, you know, once you tap on that, you can send the invite by email, uh, you know, uh, whichever mail is configured or, you know, you can, what you can do is copy this link. And uh, if you are using WhatsApp web or any of the messaging services, you can send the link directly to them. Uh, Ghazala, you have raised your hand. Okay, I think uh, uh, let's move on. Uh, now, you know, uh, of course, breakout rooms will be covering, you know, and I, I, that's the last that I would cover. Reactions is again, you know, the thumbs up and uh, the clapping and all that you can do from there. And as a host, you know, you have the options, you know, in this more button, to put it on either live on Facebook or your YouTube or custom live streaming devices. You can do a live Zoom uh, call on these platforms also if you are a host. Uh, of course, this is, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the paid function. Now, this is where I go into, you know, create meeting rooms uh, or rather breakout rooms. The first thing, you know, I've been asked is, uh, what is breakout rooms? Breakout rooms is, you know, two meetings happening parallelly without one, without the other one knowing what is happening in the first one. I can create, uh, there's a question in chat, as a host meeting ID stays the same. Yes, uh, the uh, passwords remain the same for uh, different, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, each meeting has uh, a different meeting ID. It's unique and never repeated. And number two, uh, each meeting has a password. Uh, the password remains the same uh, for that meeting itself. Okay. Uh, so if you are if you are sending twenty invites, uh, the password will remain uh, the same for all the twenty invites. The meeting ID will remain the same for all the twenty invites. But yes, as soon as you uh, uh, difference between meeting ID and room. Uh, well, uh, you can't uh, put people directly into uh, into a room itself uh, in the sense that uh, uh, first they have to join the meeting and then you put them into the meeting room. Uh, now, you know, uh, this breakout rooms. Uh, uh, now, what is breakout rooms? Breakout rooms is that the meeting is happening simultaneously. Simultaneously, in the sense that there are two meetings, uh, uh, Nasreen is hosting a meeting on uh, legal affairs, and my friend Animesh is hosting a meeting on banking affairs. Now, uh, these are two separate meetings, and uh, Vibhuti ji and uh, Sheila are uh, uh, meeting with Nasreen in one room, and Lina and uh, Shivan are meeting with uh, Animesh in the second room. All these, you know, participants from these rooms will not be able, will not be knowing what is happening there. And they have they run simultaneously, and so this is what a breakout room is. And uh, uh, as a host, if I don't enable any of the options, then by default, uh, which uh, option will be on? Uh, I did not get your question. Uh, 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 you know, uh, Jay, uh, you know, Jay, uh, you got to. Uh, elaborate a bit uh, on that. Okay. What, what, what I'm, <laughs> sir, what I'm asking is. 
as a host, if I do not enable any of the options like participants and everything, then which one will be by default will be on? Say as a host, uh, well, I, I would. I would not know that uh, because a lot of this depends on your system settings also, you know, as to how strict you have made your system. A lot of that would depend on that also. And uh, the, the first is as a host, if you are hosting a meeting, the first thing is to go into the settings uh, and check which all permissions have been enabled before you launch any meeting or a kind of, uh, you know, go into other, you know, uh, details there. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rita, thank you. yes, uh, breakout rooms are available in the free version, but you get to use, uh, you know, uh, the number of participants are restricted. Uh, you can't uh, invite too many people there in the, uh, you know, uh, in uh, the, uh, uh, for the meeting. Uh, now, you know, you get the option of creating rooms uh, and uh, you can create up to 50, meeting rooms in the fully paid version itself okay and at the same time you have the option of assigning you know uh, 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 letting the system assign uh, you know uh, assign uh, 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 what we call it uh, uh, participants or you can assign them manually or you can uh, you know uh, uh, okay thanks Rita thanks Really appreciate the time that you take out, you know, to join the sessions. Uh, now, and thirdly, you can let participants choose the room itself. Okay. I hit the create button. Okay. And when I hit the create button, I get, you know, I started with three. Uh, I said, let's make three rooms. So this is what I got. What I can do is, I can uh, rename these rooms and I can assign participants from here itself. I move into the next step. And, uh, you know, before that, I have all these options. Allow participants to choose room. Allow participants to return to the main session at any time. Okay. This is something which you need to keep in mind, uh, especially when uh, creating breaking breakout rooms. And what you have here is, that the breakout room will automatically close after how much time. You can give it a time. And before it closes, it will, it will identify or it will tell the people that the room is about to close. So please wrap up. Okay. Uh, post that, you know, you can rename the rooms like uh, the last room I am going to rename. I made it Zoom Advanced. And Post that, uh, what I do is I have, uh, you know, invited uh, people to uh, kind of join the meeting itself. Uh, what I would suggest is uh, we stop sharing from here itself. And uh, what I will be doing is I will be creating, uh, I would say, let's say uh, one, two, three, three rooms, right? You will get a message on your screens to join the meeting rooms itself, okay? I am uh, not going to assign, uh, you know, uh, assign, auto, uh, I'm not going to assign manually. I am going to assign, uh, you know, I, I will uh, put it as assign automatic. So the system is going to make that list for me. When you get, when you get that, uh, uh, when you get that invite, tap into that, you will need to join the room itself. And I will come to know who has joined the room or not. I just, uh, it says, you know, since there are 21 participants, it tells me right now that seven participants per room. I create and it gives me, you know, the names as to who is going where. And uh, what I do is I open all rooms. And you would have got that invitation to join the rooms. Have you got the invitation? Nasreen, you seem to be too serious. Sujata has joined. Ramchandra has joined. Vibhuti ji has joined. Kuldeep has joined. Okay, Laila has joined. Uh, Animesh is there. Jayant is there. Rajiv is there. Okay. And... Uh, from here itself, 
you know, uh, what I can do is uh, I can, uh, you know, Vasanta, you're still, uh, you're not joining. I think you, you're, uh, you're not, uh, 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 did, you, did you get the message? Yeah, I joined room number two. Okay, good. So now, you know, uh, what I am going to be doing as a host, I'm going to broadcast a message. Uh, hello, everybody. How are you? Enter. Okay, did the message go through or not? Message yes. has gone through? Yes. yes. Everybody has got that message? Yes. Now I am going into room number one. I myself as a host am going to room number one. And uh, I'll say hello to Lena. Uh, I say yes. Now, uh, uh, now, you know, uh, in the meeting rooms itself, I went to one, now I went to room number two, now I went to room number two. Raju ji. सर म्यूट है म्यूट है आप मैं उनको भी जाके देख के आया हूँ अब मैं तीसरे वाले कमरे में जाके देखता हूँ क्या हो रहा है यस आई गो इनटू रूम थ्री यस Okay, uh, so time is up. I close the meeting rooms and uh, meeting room se wapis aane mein. Okay. So 
हाउस एवरीबडी मीटिंग रूम में कुछ काम वाम किया कि खाली घूम फिर के आ गए जो है दिस इज वॉट दीटिंग रूम डू यू कैन क्रिएट एंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन दी यू नो एंड सुमिता नवीन जी ऐसी बात नहीं है मैं दिख रहा हूँ ओके तो वो जो है व्हाट यू डू इज आप जो है वो यू कैन यू नो कंडक्ट योर ओन बिजनेस देयर एंड देन व्हाट हैपेंस इज दिस इज दिस इज अ वे ऑफ ब्रेकिंग यू नो अ लार्ज मीटिंग इनटू स्मॉलर मीटिंग्स इट सेल्फ यू नो सो यस राजीव यू हैव रेज्ड योर हैंड अच्छा इसके अलावा व्हाट वी नीडेड टू यू नो व्हाट वी नीडेड टू डू वाज वी नीडेड टू चेक ऑन पोल्स ओके पोल्स इज समथिंग व्हिच आई विल बी डूइंग या देयर वर नो इंटरेक्शंस बिकॉज़ वो आप लोगों को करना था मैं वहां जाके सिर्फ देख के आ गया कि तीसरा रूम क्रिएट हुआ है कि नहीं नहीं तो पता लगता कि आप लोग फिर बाद में बोलते कि भाई कह तो रहा था फिर किया नहीं क्या हो गया so i just went there said hello to everybody and came back okay okay uh, okay uh, basically when room 3 yeah, uh, yeah i could not had... neither see you nor hear you nor uh, chat with you also uh, well uh, you know it's a short duration just as an example you know uh, okay. uh, uh, if we uh, yeah uh, so yeah uh, uh, that was uh, the uh, uh, okay so uh, the thing is so, uh, you know the poll section i will be covering in the advanced one we'll be doing it live so you will get a, a feel i mean before that i'll doing a, i'll do a, i'll include that in the presentation and then we'll be doing it live okay so that you understand that better rather than you know showing you images and then uh, you know following it up that uh, so before that i will uh, you know do that and uh, we'll take it up from there itself uh, i hope uh, uh i think beena ji uh, sent a message uh, i am not uh, yes uh do you have to mention the subject for the breakout rooms uh, yes beena ji uh, what you can do is you can rename the messages uh, you know sorry you can rename the rooms itself and at the same time uh, you know uh, when you chat uh, all the uh, uh, before as you know i'll be sharing that in the third uh, phase itself where you can assign hosts co-hosts for those individual rooms itself uh, i will try and do it live uh, so uh, you know uh, that actually involves uh, you know something like a youtube i need to put up uh, special cameras for that uh, if i get the opportunity i will definitely do that uh, in that case what happens is uh, you can make hosts co-hosts within the breakout rooms itself and uh, because somebody is definitely required uh, uh you know to uh, to you know uh, kind of uh, 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 look into that so uh, uh you know uh, you know uh, 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 we uh, we will uh, we will do that i will try and do that uh, uh, you know uh, uh, live the next time Uh, hopefully very soon because i think the the third session uh, on the advanced one is just i think if it's if i'm not mistaken on the in the in the in the uh, uh, in the next week itself uh, or maybe later on this week i'm not sure i'm very bad at remembering my schedule uh, uh, you know uh, so link bridge sir ha uh, link sir uh, feedback ka link kis cheez ka फीडबैक का लिंक उषा जी एक मिनट में अभी देखता हूँ कुछ ना कुछ करने की कोशिश करता हूँ फीडबैक लिंक कहा है भाई ये इधर है ओके जूम एडवांस्ड व्हाट्सएप पे आता है सर व्हाट्सएप पे क्लियर ही नहीं होता कि किसका है सर ओके चलिए मैंने चैट सेशन में जो है वो इसमें मैंने डाल दिया है 
Lena, I've sent you some messages there. If you could uh, check. Uh, 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 actually, uh, uh, the details, you know, they, I had obtained them uh, from a different session. Uh, and I didn't, I couldn't save the chat history. So that's why I lost that number, you know. Uh, uh, so I have pasted the, the feedback link. I would appreciate if uh, you could, uh, you know, uh, share any details of any of the, uh, you know, uh, any of uh, the uh, displays link expired. Just let's wait for uh, a couple of, uh, you know, weeks. We'll have a new system in place. Uh, I apologize for that and uh, just hope that uh, the resolution uh, is uh, there very quick. So again, uh, you know, uh, thank you very much uh, for, uh, you know, the, uh, for all your time and, uh, you know, uh, uh, that you have shared, uh, that you have shared. Uh, and I really look forward to seeing you all in uh, many more sessions at this excellent platform. Uh, please, uh, and of course, our good friend Nasreen, uh, she does excellent sessions. I still need to find time to attend those sessions, you know, uh, and uh, uh, she does an excellent job. I, I have been told by that. And, uh, you know, uh, I will definitely uh, attend her sessions. And uh, of course, I'm not recommending that you go and read. You know, we don't recommend. Uh, I told right in the beginning, we don't uh, promote any product or any service or anything of that sort. Uh, but uh, when you see her sessions, I can tell you, you will not leave them. You will just look forward to hosting, the, to checking on those sessions. Okay, thank you everybody. Have a great okay, time. Thank you, sir. And thank, you thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Look, you are always yeah. great. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. God is very, great. And no, very clear. Family. Thank you. Very sure. clear, very instructive. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Nara. Take thank care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, Vibhuti Ji.